All right, everyone, we start off today with a new report. Uh, that is that the DOJ is unlikely to charge Donald Trump before the midterm elections. They're going to shove it for some months. This keeps ambiguity over the head of the midterms, and as predicted, and it was predictable, that's the entire point. Uh, they realize that Donald Trump did not break the law. They may very well try to indict him and persecute him further. It wouldn't be a huge surprise, and they'll drag it out as long as possible, preferably through the 2024 election. Uh, that being said, the real goal is to try to cast shade on MAGA candidates within the midterms. Um, it is quite clear that Donald Trump exerted executive privilege over the documents that were taken at the Mar-a-Lago raid. Uh, there are multiple conflicts of interest involved with the investigation. You have the breach of attorney-client privilege. You have an over-exceeding of the warrant with regards to things that weren't pertinent to it being seized anyway, even if they were shortly returned. Um, you have a, a political bent to the FBI established under the Hunter Biden case as well as Russiagate that informs the current persecutorial witch hunt that we're seeing. The entire goal is simply to try to throw the midterms. And Mitch McConnell, by the way, I have no doubt is part of this plot. Um, as a neocon, realizing, hey, I'm, you know, I'm in my 80s, uh, I'm probably not going to reestablish you know, my leadership of the Senate even if we take the Senate because uh, the MAGA Republicans will want to force me out of Senate leadership. Uh, Mitch McConnell is part of this, attempting to throw the midterms. And you have the entire legacy media right now canvassing the Sarah Palin special election loss as though it's particularly significant. I'll be talking about that separately because it's not. There are no coincidences currently happening within U.S. news and politics. The astroturfing of the legacy media is far too quick for them not to be coordinating. The coordination, it seems, if you study any linguistics, between what's being said by people like McConnell uh, and Cheney and all the, Romney and all the others uh, and various liberals is not coincidental. It can't be. Uh, it's impossible for it to be. Um, and so... This is just another step in trying to hoodwink the U.S. voters. Much like the FBI refused to in, uh, uh, investigate the Hunter Biden laptop scandal and indeed covered it up and had big tech and the legacy media help them do it for 2020, they're now trying again uh, for political reasons. They are holding the concept that Trump may be charged over the head of the voters for the midterms. Why would they do this? Some voters, including some MAGA voters, they support Trump, etc., will think it's too risky to vote for all these MAGA candidates because Trump is just going to be indicted anyway. He'll be off to the Huskow. We've They'll get blackpilled, quite literally. Well, we've lost. <clears throat> Our populist cause will be ripped apart, and there is no hope. So let's just lay down our arms and not fight, so to speak. Um, it's a Sun Tzu-style tactic really being used by the deep state right now. I think that people rather should double down and vote twice as hard, uh, dragging people, kicking and screaming to the goddamn polls practically um, because of this. What we need to do is reestablish the U.S. Republic. It is being jeopardized by globalism and by people like Joe Biden who openly threaten large swaths of the population, who openly proclaim a willingness to denigrate the Constitution, who are destroying the economy. That should get people angry. Now, they shouldn't get demoralized and blackpilled. They should get fucking furious. The attempt is to try to get them to do otherwise. I think the GOP base, especially MAGA Republicans, those that lean more populist, have been fired up now for several years. And the Democrats were not fired up, not, not by a long shot. And the neocons, and they never are because it's impossible for them to do so. As a result, the neocons have decided to do a little bit of scorched earth, sign on with the Democrats mainly, uh, not all of them, but 90% of them, in order to try to block as many MAGA individuals from the House and the Senate as possible as a prelude potentially for attempting to indict Donald Trump. There may be an attempt there. Uh, that doesn't mean a conviction, by the way. It's basically similar to the impeachment process. Trump was impeached twice. He was cleared of the charges. Ergo, there's no problem there. Um, the DOJ knows what it's doing. This is strategic in nature. It's political in nature. We know the FBI and DOJ can be politicized. We've got plenty of evidence. Look at Thibault getting uh, uh, kicked out of the FBI the other day. 
there are people out there that won't put two and two together and realize, hey, if the FBI is capable of being political a dozen times before in recent history, let alone back in the J. Edgar Hoover era, uh, that they can be politically motivated now. Yes, maybe Orange Man not actually bad. Maybe everything that we're seeing there is a fucking smoke and mirror show. And the other point is this. They want to put attention on this issue to sideline Republicans from other issues. That is, they'll be so busy talking about Donald Trump and will he be charged and the FBI raid and stuff that they will abandon the very, very solid multi-plank platform that they were handed for the midterm elections. It's not just a plank, but a goddamn series of planks as far as just the economy goes within the midterms. The Republicans were handed high inflation, which was caused by Bidenomics, um, low labor force participation, numerous uh, extremely low business and consumer confidence, various uh, energy problems, etc., 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 wages pacing behind inflation, etc., um, as an economic platform, a core platform for the midterms. That was going to be the main one. On the side, <clears throat> you have crime and you have the border, and then you can tack onto that in the back somewhere numerous foreign policy failures of the Biden administration, his stewardship. Afghanistan, I suppose Iraq now kind of counts, certainly Korea, uh, failures in Ukraine. You can dovetail that in with the economy because you can say, look, um, the American people uh, are, are being screwed right now. They're hurting, they're taking out credit lines to buy groceries, and you keep sending billions and billions and billions to Ukraine at a time when we're not even solvent. This would be a winning platform. What you do with this is you try to distract many of them into not even really addressing those issues. Instead, they're simply addressing the Mar-a-Lago raid, declaring it tyranny, which, I mean, I would agree it is. But to get them sidetracked from any other meaningful issues that could be used in a midterm uh, election. That's the entire point of this. That's the main point, at least. It's possible they'll persecute Trump further. They could also inexplicably uh, collapse after the midterms, after you know they've done whatever damage they can do, and hope for the best. Um, it, it waits to be seen whether uh, which one of these will happen. Uh, but in my opinion, that I expressed before, the DOJ was going to use this predominantly as a midterm distraction. And now we have it from their own mouth. They are likely to wait until after the midterms to take further action. It would be more fair to the American people if the DOJ, upon a cursory review of the evidence, simply made its basic case, came before the American people long before the midterms and said yes or no. We think Donald Trump broke the law. I don't care about improperly filing paperwork. That's a regulatory thing that has nothing to do with any actual law. It's not a misdemeanor, it's not a felony, it's entirely separate, and it's what they've mainly pivoted towards. If you think that Donald Trump shared top-secret information with Russia, or China, or Ukraine, or the goddamn Cubans, tell the American people that they deserve to know, put forth your fucking evidence, stop redacting literally everything under the sun, and tell people what the hell is going on, what you suspect happened. If not, shit or get off the pot, Tell the American people you're unlikely to charge Donald Trump and say, look, we've got all these documents. We think they're pertinent to the National Archives request, but it's not pertinent to the Espionage Act. And then admit to the American people that it was a fishing expedition, that you barged into the Mar-a-Lago fully armed for absolutely no goddamn legal reason whatsoever. It has nothing to do with the repatriation of classified material being improperly stored. We know that. Being improperly shared. We speculate that. And just admit to people that it's all a goddamn con job. But they won't do that. Because the entire purpose is to try to swing the midterm elections. You're being conned. Literally every single one of you out there. That's about all. Peace out.